Hi everybody, Sherry Ellis again with the Laura Gillette Home Team, Keller Williams Realty Mid Willamette. I'm gonna show you a second home today. Um, today we are at uh, 704 4th Avenue Southeast in downtown Albany. Um, this home has 1900, was built in 1900, has 2,508 square feet. So there's a lot of square footage here with four bedrooms and two and a half baths. Um, it's on 0.16 of an acre. And the home is right here behind me. So we'll take a look. Uh, I'll turn the camera around. We are in downtown Albany. So let me turn it around here and I'll show you some of the houses that are around us. So here we are um, on 4th Street downtown. So you can see all the houses. You're in the historic district down here. Um, and here is the house with a nice white picket fence. Um, and it comes around to here. So you do have access into the basement area um, here as well as um, from inside. So let's go ahead and go up the steps and take a quick tour of this house. So you do have a nice wraparound porch um, <clears throat> here at the top of the stairs. I'm gonna take a second to tour that for you. So you go this way, comes around, front door, and then you've got the porch that comes on around this side. And it does wrap around um, the front porch area, wraps around to the side. That door does not access out anymore, but it is there, probably could be opened up. And then on this side, um, you do have, you don't have a neighbor really close on this side. So you just got this nice uh, open space and a walk that takes you through to the next lot. So wood siding, vinyl windows, um, lots of things that are done for you already, but there's still some things obviously that you could do um, once you make this home yours. So let me open the door here, get us inside. So as we step in the front door, <clears throat> you're into the living room. So you can see we do have baseboard heat here. We've got crown molding, um, carpets for the floors. I'm not sure if there would be wood floors underneath here or not, but house this age, I'll bet you there's some under there. So the first room off of the living room is here. Um, closet here, just your basic room. You could maybe use this one as an office since it does come in right off the front door and off of um, the living room space. We're gonna follow through here and step into the living room. Don't mind my husband. I always have him come with in vacant houses. So I'm gonna take you on into um, the bathroom that's off of <clears throat> the living space. So you've got tile floors in here. You've got um, a nicer vanity, updated vanity and granite countertops, <clears throat> mirrors, Bathtub is over on this side, so you've got a full one-piece tub shower combo kit here. And then on this side, you've got a separate toilet space. So behind the door here. Okay, so that's the bathroom that's off of the main living room. <clears throat> Come back in and I'll show you, this is the living room space from this side. <clears throat> you can see back to the front door. So from there, there's a little cubby right here. I don't know what you'd call the room, but you could use it for you know whatever you wanted. That could be a great little desk space or um, a classroom from home right here. Be perfect for setting up a, a kid that has to do school from home that's just right in the main living area, but also private uh, so that you can see what's going on, but then they're also not distracted by what's going on. So as we come into this area, there's another bedroom <clears throat> right here. And uh, you do have another nook. Uh, I would make this into a full closet. I would just hang those doors and this would be my full closet on this side here. Vinyl windows again, uh, barn doors are up here. I would leave them and I would put them right here on this opening so that I had a full walk-in closet there. This bedroom does have a half bath on it. So I would probably use it as a master. Comes back around to the door out to the dining area. Let me show you the half bath that's in here. So again, we've got, um, looks like tile floors and updated vanity and granite uh, countertop in here. Now, obviously the home could use a little bit of love. 
a little bit of cleanup, but that's somebody's bonus. Um, like I say, there's 2,508 square feet um, for $2.99. So we're gonna come in here and we've got a large dining area. I'll just kind of get a pan of this area so you can see what that looks like back to the other room. Those are the stairs down to the finished basement. And then that's back into the bedroom and the living room. So from the dining area where I'm standing, I'm gonna walk in into the kitchen. Space for the refrigerator here. So you have stainless steel appliances, um, granite countertops, updated cabinets, super nice. Let me show you this trim on this, these cabinets. Um, so, you know, the things that are gonna cost you some money are here, a little cleanup and paint and floor coverings in this one. You could have a great house for um, not too big of a price. Uh, next thing is I want to uh, show you, so this is a really big kitchen, but I wanna show you a laundry room right here. So this thing is huge. So we've got tile floors in here as well, but it's a huge laundry room. There's nothing in here right now, so it's kind of hard to show you, you know, the setup, but you do have um, another window and a door out, door out to the backyard. I don't know if you guys can hear me through this mask, but holy cow. And then there's your doors back into the kitchen area. I'm going to show you the backyard. I won't go down, but I'll show you where we've got. So just kind of span it. You do have a good fence on it. Comes all the way around. Obviously could use some cleanup, but potential is huge here for the square footage and the price. Nice big cherry tree out here, fenced yard. All right, and then you've got the stairs down um, into the backyard. You can also access the backyard from the basement level, so. Okay, so let's go back in through the kitchen. I'll take you down to the basement. And come back and lock up and turn off the lights when we're finished. All right, so back through the kitchen. So I'll show you this the kitchen from this side, just so you get a view. Granite countertops, vinyl windows, and in here we do have the laminate floors as well. You had carpet in the living room, uh, but you've got the laminate floors in here. Looks like bamboo, actually. So let's head on down the stairs to the basement and um, some extra rooms down here. Get the, got a little landing right here on the side of the stairs. Get the camera going in the right direction. Squeaky, squeaky. You'll know if somebody's coming up or down. Okay. So there's lots of finished rooms down here. So you've got this finished room in here. And you've got closet space back there. Uh, I could make a huge closet in that space there. Put a little door on it. This one comes around and uh, <laughs> comes around down into the hallway. And then we've got another huge room right across from the stairs as they come down here. So you've got another huge room here. I'll come through and show you. So you could have this space back here as a closet space if you wanted. Um, and then also there's another cubby here, cubby room here. So, um, you know, there's lots of little extra spaces in this house that you could make turn into little, um, you know, specific rooms, like say that's a study or a desk area or, you know, a game room or, you know, whatever. Um, so then if we go this way down the hall, we're going to come to a hall bath down here. So you have another full bath um, and it's a large one. So tile floors in here. You also have the updated uh, vanity on this side and the granite countertops there. Comes around. So there's tons of storage. This brings us back to the door. And then we'll circle back around. And you've got another tub shower combo here. And then lots of storage on this side as well. So uh, you've got room for all kinds of things in this house. So you've got that space back there. So we'll circle this one back around. And those are the rooms that are down here. Um, I'll show you as we go out of this one, circle back around. As we go back out of this one and into the hallway again, there's also a storage room down here, two mechanical room, um, water heaters down here. There's another access to the outside. So 
it's kind of finished space, but not all finished. We do have some insulation down here. Got the hot water heater. That door there takes you out um, to the front, uh, to the street where you could actually go back out. <coughs> Excuse me. Could also go back out to the street and it had those double doors, but that one leads you out to another room that goes out there. Um, I'll show you the electric panel down here. Uh, let's see if I can get the light on it. Um, anyway, so we do have the electric panel down here as well. Whoops. So see that we've got that. Let me get you a little picture. Yeah, it's kind of dark in here, but all updated panel. So, um, so that's good. And I can see all the Romex wiring. I'm not sure what's going through the rest of the house, but I can see that they've done some rewiring in here as well and plumbing. So you can, that's one thing that's nice about having a basement is you can actually get access to these things. But those look like your main drain lines all all been um, updated and, and some of the wiring at least as well. So let's go ahead and um, take you back upstairs and we'll finish out this video. Uh, I do want to remind you that we are at 704 4th Avenue Southeast in Albany. This home was built in 1900. Um, it has 2,508 square feet. It sits on 0.16 of an acre, and it has four bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms, and it is offered at 299. Uh, lots and lots of updates that are done here. There are some that are left for the home buyer, which is great. You know, maybe you want to paint, do your floor coverings, um, but a lot of the the main things are done, like the bathroom updates and um, the kitchen remodel. So those are the more expensive ones. It leaves you a little bit of room to complete some of the other items. Again, I'm Sherry Ellis with the Laura Gillette Home Team, Keller Williams Realty, Mid Willamette. If you'd like to take a tour of this home, just give us a call at 541-990-7728 or 451, I mean 541-451-2211 at the office. Somebody be happy to schedule a showing. So hope you all have a great day and thanks for watching.